Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Going to take up the FMS 1800 millimeter Ranger. Right, left, up, down, right, left. Take off flap. Landing flap. Really Full don't stop. need flaps today, but. Is armed. Be careful. All right. Timer set for five and a half minutes. If I can get my uh, uh, my IX-14 to stay on the dashboard, that would be awesome. Gotta lose my belly just so I can keep it off the dashboard. Keep from changing the screens for me. All right, here we go. Gonna try to stay on that center line. Gotta be aware that I've got a cross breeze, so the plane's gonna want to go off to one side. That's why I turned into the wind there. All right, let's actually go out here a little bit. I'm the only person here. So. Now, Mama had to work, so. Got to put up with me and the cell Time phone. remaining five minutes. Yeah, got to put up with me and the cell phone. With the wind. Not half for all there. Definitely not a slouch on the, of the plane as far as speed. Of course, that was with the wind. Manual mode. All right, now I'm in manual mode, which is no gyro at all. And it's windy. See if I can land in manual mode. Nice big plane though. Big always, the bigger the plane is, the better they fly. Mainly because you can see it so much better and the reaction is more uh, obvious. If that makes any sense at all. Coming a little too hot there. A little too high. Let me turn around. Time remaining four minutes. Trying to be careful of that sun. I don't want to get blinded. Line up with my center line there. Yeah, I'm going to have to go further out. Because I'm going with the wind and that high wing, I'm naturally getting more lift. And uh, got to cut more speed, cut some of that uh, speed out, lead off some speed there. Okay, see the wind moving that plane? All right. Stabilized mode. All right, now we're in self level. I cannot bank the plane. That's as far as won't let me turn the plane any more than that. I cannot turn it upside down. So let's try landing it in the uh, self level. And then we'll take off in self level. There. There, okay. Manual mode, optimized mode. Back up to the AS3X mode. So you can see I can go upside down now. Hope I'm Time not, remaining three minutes. Hopefully I'm not standing in the an anthill here. All right, let's land in the grass. Give, give you some grass hops there. There we go. Let's get turned around. The way the wind, the way the plane's pointing right now, that's where the wind's coming from. So it's a pretty darn cross runway. Luckily that the grass is short enough right now and the plane sits high enough where I'm not getting too much interference with the prop. 
And I can still see the upper half of that nose wheel. Let's get turned around. Maybe. Don't turn over. Don't turn. Ah! <laughs> Should have turned the other direction. But it's always woulda, coulda, shoulda. <laughs> Push that wing back down. All right. Full up elevator. Here, I'm just going to turn the plane. Hope is secured. Let's turn the plane. All right. Motor is armed. Be Motor. Careful. All right. We're going to give a take, take off, off flap because I want to get up out of that grass as soon as possible. Get it rolling. There we go. All right. Took off in the grass, land in the grass. So. That is, that's a good flying plane, good stable plane. And I actually, um, honestly, with the uh, Vectra system or the Reflex system that comes with it, this could be your first plane. This could be. It's, it's big enough, rugged enough. It can take out. There. Touch and go in the grass. That way you guys, the grass field, remaining two minutes. grass field operations who don't have, the, aren't blessed enough to have these runways like we have and uh, the, the one runway we have. And folks, this is not pavement. This is actually geotech, which is a, sorry about the fun, which is actually a tarred fabric that's been stretched over the earth. But this could definitely handle anything you put out. Now, if you get grass too thick, then uh, you're gonna have a hard time with it. But, and it doesn't have skirts, you know, I mean, it doesn't have uh, little wheel pants. So that's about as good as you're going to get. And I don't think you can put bigger wheels, maybe big, bigger wheels on the mains, but not on the nose. Uh, maybe you could. There's not much clearance between the top hub of that wheel and the axle. So you wouldn't be able to get much bigger on that nose wheel. Um, so really, but the wheels are fine that are on it. Just, you know, pick your... Shortest part of your grass on the runway to land in. <laughs> but just a good flying plane. But if, you, if you're really going to have to worry about a, a grass, then um, I, I highly recommend, if you're, worried, if you're worried about grass, then I would uh, get a, a tail dragger. That would be a, a better solution. And unfortunately, this plane does not give an option uh, to turn it into a tail dragger. Um, you can put floats on it. So the float guys, that'd be no problem. Um, but it doesn't give you that option to turn it into a tail dragger. Now, you could put the gear in the forward position where you'd put the front part of the floats and then you would have to manufacture something for a tail wheel. That's about the only way. But as far as a kit that you can bolt onto it, no. All right, at least not one that FMS sells, put it that way. But I really recommend this plane. Just a fun plane. I don't care what level you are. I don't, one minute. I don't care if you're an instructor or a brand new pilot. This plane here can pretty much fit the bill for any kind of uh, tractor prop plane you want. It fits the bill. It's just a good all-around plane. Big enough to see real well, you know. And the little, the little, uh, little 2200, or uh, 2200, the little uh, 1220 uh, Ranger is a great option too. And they fly, they're, they're almost identical in the way they fly. And they look the same. I mean, they're both the same model Ranger, just one's bigger than the other. And this one costs like, like 130 bucks more. But if you can afford it, I highly recommend this one. Because bigger just flies better. And you, I'm running a 4500 uh, Sokokan 
which is about as big as you're going to, you could probably even put a 5,000 for us in it. Um, but I got a 4,500. I usually run a Spectrum 4,000 Smart Pack in her, but I got the 4,500 in her. And I've got a little further forward than I normally would put my batteries in this plane because I actually, because of the wind, I knew it was going to be windy. I want a little more nose heavy in the wind. That's just a useful little uh, trick. There's one drawback to the plane. To the plane. Look at the, the wheel skirts, or, or the, not the wheel pants, but the skirts, the, 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 the white part of the, the, wheel, of the landing gear. That just is tightly snaps on. Well, you can see, you can kind of see the wire. It's movable and it vibrates. So you hear the ah, sound when it's flying. That's those wheel uh, uh, pants vibrating. And if it wasn't for the fact, to me, the wire looks ugly without them, I probably end up just taking them off because I get tired of hearing that. And they're on, they've improved them to where they, they don't they don't rattle so much, but they still rattle enough where that's pretty much all you hear anytime you give it any kind of uh, speed, you know, the ah sound. So that's 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 the, those wheel things uh, rattling. Anyways, we had 31 seconds left on a five and a half minute timer. So a full five minutes of flying. Let me pull the let's put the see how much is left in the tank. She's a top loader right here in the front, so that's nice. You can see where I've got the 4,500. Normally, I put the 4,000 here back, and I've actually got the 4,500 slightly ahead of that, okay, just to help give me a little more wind penetration. And anytime you're, you're going to be flying on a windy day, fly your heavier batteries and, and favor your nose heavy. 45% left, so that's good. You could fly for a solid on 4,500, a solid six minutes with easy flying, maybe six and a half if you really, uh, uh, really baby it. If you're going to be hard, five minutes. If you're going to fly at full speed, but I don't recommend flying anything full speed. I really don't. Ease off the ESC every so often. Well, folks, there you go. That is the FMS Ranger 1800. Great flying plane. Looks good. Um, got lights, um, too bright really to see them. I don't know if you can see that green light right here. Um, but it's got uh, green on this side, red on the other, and then it's got the landing, uh, landing light just underneath uh, the prop there under the nose. You may not, I don't know if you can see it on video or not because she's looking in the sun right now. But just a good flying plane. You might be able to see that, the red light there. But, uh, and then underneath, and yeah, yeah, now you can see it. But just a good plane. I, I comes with a reflex gyro, so you'll need a six-channel receiver for uh, one channel for the flaps, one channel for the to run the vector system, and then the other uh, for for the normal for throttle, aileron, elevator, and rudder. So six channels what you need. I highly recommend the AR620 is a good all-around receiver for it, or you could do a seven-channel uh, Lemon RX. Um, uh, with a dual dual antenna and they're like 18 bucks so you get them motion rc they're a good alternative if you don't want the the spectrum one uh, or whatever uh radio system you i i use all spectrum so i have to use spectrum protocol but uh there you go folks thank you for watching god bless y'all god is good and that is the fms ranger link to the purchase will be in the i am an affiliate with fms just let you know i do get a commission and but I paid this plane's 379 and I paid 379. I just bought the plane because I, I believe in the plane and I love it and I wanted to share it with y'all. All right, y'all have a good and God bless y'all. God is good. Faith, family, and friends, and then Rangers. Bye bye.